today. He said, when statesmen forsake their own conscience for the sake of public office, they lead their country on a short route to chaos. Is it not true that this is indeed the route upon which we are set today, the short route to chaos? Today we are each faced with a mandate, not from a king, but from an administration that has lost sight of what freedom of conscience means to each and every individual American. This fight is not of our making, but we will not shrink from it. Catholic issue. This is an American issue. This is a constitutional issue. And I can say to the bishop, to the Lincoln Diocese, that I actually substantially agree with the church's stand on this issue. And you can count on it. so many people here today from so many different faith traditions. Religious liberty takes centuries to win, but it can be lost in a blink of an eye if men and women of goodwill don't step forward to defend it. Uh, ben Franklin could have been talking about today's battle for religious liberty when he said, we must all hang together. Most assuredly, we will all hang separate. Whenever anyone's religious liberty is threatened, everyone's religious liberty and like the Patriots at Lexington and Concord and Bunker Hill, we must all come running to the defense of religious liberty when it's under attack. This mandate is not about access to contraception, which is ubiquitous and inexpensive, even when it is not provided by the church's hand and with the church's funds. This is not about the religious freedom of Catholics only, as it's been stated already by our Protestant brethren but also of those who recognize that their cherished beliefs may be next on the block. This is not about the bishops somehow banning contraception, since the U.S. Supreme Court took that issue off the table two generations ago. Indeed, this is not about the church wanting to force anybody to do anything, but it's about the federal government forcing the church, consisting of its faithful and all but a few of its institutions, to act against church teachings. Our rights, our religious liberty and freedom do not come from a government, they come from God. And there's no way in which the government can curtail or in any way inhibit what God has given us. At whatever cost, we must stand firm and be brave and courageous. We will never have a land of the free if it is not simultaneously the home of the brave. So let us then brace ourselves to our duties and so conduct ourselves that future generations will know that at this time, in this place, there was a stand, like in the olden days, for freedom. I would say we must uh, think once again of whatever the cost and pay it, whatever the price, and be able and willing to stand with those who bled on our behalf. One of them was... Join down in the 
this lawsuit, I said, you made my day. We have to stand up and fight. See, for me, freedom means I may not have a job at the end. Good. So I don't get to coach football. Whoop-de-doo. So I don't, so I don't, I can't, I, can't, I have to go to jail. So what? So they beat me and flogged me. So what? So they cut my head off. So what? Jesus Christ has already paid the price. I will live for, with him forever and ever and ever and ever. And nothing that can do to stop me. I'll conclude with the words of Cardinal Timothy Dolan, again, president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. He said, we did not ask for this fight, but we will not run from it.